and that's recently at least has been a heavily favored matchup for the morphling yeah i've, I've heard seen... it's unplayable by yeah. ember players like mm -hmm. they say that if the morphling knows how to play the lane it's actually unplayable aren't you just feeding him sticks you can't you can't make that kill because he has a waveform either way he's gonna get out yeah especially like the level one quills where yeah. like you use a lot of your mana pool bottom lane Getting in there, it looks like GH will get the distance. He's trying to stay, see if uh, Miracle can trade something back here. And Zai has already gone for the swashbuckle, so he's going in the creeps, hoping that they're going to help him out with a stomp or something, but GH keeps the spacing, make sure nothing gets messed up, and uh, he'll take the kill even from Miracle. But there was some reason why saving gold before was better than now, and I'm not talking about buyback. Before, a long time ago, it was a bit different how reliable and unreliable gold did work. But yeah, we're, we're, we're slowly moving away from capitalism in this game. So I'll play Matsu. And looks like that'll be easy with the ink swallow. The question is, can they get the additional on the puppy with the apps are coming through with the haste rune? Nice slight dodge there. Make sure he won't get stunned, but it is still a save there as a haste shaker isn't really that scary. Top lane is killable though, on both sides. Top, top lane should be the most volatile lane. Side so just gets six in time here. Would they chase? He's not gonna try and pop it though. I thought he was gonna ult. I, I thought he was gonna be like, I thought he was risking it because he knew he gets six in time and then he would just dodge the, the rocket with it. But I guess he, he thought maybe he'd be all right. Can they get Kuro top? They should yeah, be body alive. blocks. Easy. Matu coming through with a level 3 Lucent Beam to secure it. Even if your lane yeah. is not going too well, you can always kind of farm that uh, medium camp. Uh, he's going right. to try and take this outpost before the 10-minute mark here. They safely control the bottom one, that is for sure. The question is, can they get the double? That does not look like it. He is going the wrong way here. Yeah, but... He just took Easy. five heroes with him. Everyone is in the dire jungle. The whole That's team true. of secrets, yeah. That was the mind control next level play, the forehead play, baiting, yeah, right. baiting them onto him. Sign of rolling thunder here, so Weeha heads in, dodges the Fisher. Doesn't quite have the damage here, and also has a regen rune. Oh. I think he got a little greedy though. Oh, <laughs> I what? take some. Yeah, he, ha he had two remnant charges as well to play with, but... Plenty of heroes that don't get picked in, in pro games that you see in pubs and you're just like, man, this hero's really good. Mm -hmm. like, it feels like it can still be a very strong hero in, in plenty of circumstances. It's just, you know, these guys have to pick from the very best of the best in every match. Oh, mind control mid lane. It's going so deep. Yeah, he's, he's in a little bit of trouble here, as again, Matu will just show up to help out. And I'm sure Poppy's just gonna catch that next wave. Oh, he's such a nuisance. He even got the D word on the pillar too. <laughs> like this is what's so frustrating with this. Like this guy was just about dead, and now you see him just sitting there. But mid lane, they go for the jump, trying with the strike, but Zai. Oh, Zai. All right. Oh, oh. It uh, might not be enough. No, he's got him. Faces him, but uh, back. We got the Soulbind catching the Luna and the Morphling. This is the two heroes they want. They come up with the call down, the Lucid Beam, trying to set up Miracle, but they do have the damage. Nisa's nice just going to TP out and say, Thank you for the coverage. Matu, I am the real carry. I got to live. It's crazy how these position fives used to be pretty big core players before and just decide, okay, I, I just need to control these plebs. I can play a five. It doesn't matter. I'll show you guys how it's done. Zai runs into a couple enemies there. The silence is up, so he can't go for the ulti. Now into the root two. Shield crash, try to keep him survivable, and they'll bring it through the relocate just in case. Tree's gonna get down. A little bit. He could have gotten further. He probably dies anywhere, but Nisha has that manta completed. I wonder. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe he's trying like a silence into TP or something. I'm not sure. But uh, Nisha's been down here for a while, and he's gonna try and go for the escape. Now he gets stunned out, though. It's a long burn, though. But everyone's here. So surely, he'll eventually, after a lot of spells, definitely die. <laughs> they got him. Uh, <laughs> it's such a, such a good kill for... Uh, okay, Kuro gets it, but he was around. He gets some gold. Oh, Migo have been on for the bounties. I think they just got all four again. Mm-hmm. Sweat. Jeez. That's yeah, pretty it, painful. It, yeah, it's crazy. They, they're they really not contesting these bounties. Manta has been used by Nisha. He's going to go back towards the mid. Yaps are sitting here in Viz. He's looking for the play. There's the coil. Waiting for the slam. There it is. Onto the aisle and the gyrocopter. Is the sustain going to be enough? Oh, Miracle oh, back up with the wands. 
Io is crazy. Matu looking to go down in the middle of things. Zai tries to cover him, but he will still fall. Yapsor getting low, heading towards the base. My control just needs to clear it up. No, he got a blink off. Yeah, he I gets, can't believe it. He just got it. <laughs> he just got it as oh, well. Oh, that makes way more sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's, that's what's crazy from him. Yeah, that's... Like, you're in this spot as secret that you can't really fight them anymore. You went for the Dominator on Luna, you thought maybe about fighting early, but these fights didn't work. Okay, they're gonna try. Into the pit. Oh, Zai, perfect timing, comes through. The Radiant get the Roche and the Aegis. The BKB's already activated. Now Weehaw, hopping forward. He's got Poppy as well as Matu. Matu's just TPing out. He does not want to be a part of this. He's actually gonna make it. Missile still chasing Puppy. He might be the sacrifice here. Oh, here we go. Three seconds till Echo down bottom. Creep Wave coming in. Do you believe Yapsor? Oh, it's gonna be close. Next. Yeah, yeah, got right, him. They got that him. Close. So uh, that that situation is always so tricky because Ember Spirit sometimes uses slight of fists, right, to creep to farm the wave a bit faster. And I've yeah. seen it so many times. You go for that echo and he's slight of fisting it. You just want to die after. <laughs> well, uh, the question is, will either these guys die because this is going in on the Aegis? Remember, but the IO just got evaporated there. And all of stuns, I mean, everyone is surrounding Miracle here. It goes for the BGB TP, but there's a lot of right clicks, and with the auras and a Holy play, moly. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah, Holy that's fine. Holy Everything yeah, else like is. the big Inkswell bit, play, yeah. too, right? Yeah, everything else is a bit too slow, and e even the big Inkswell, Inkswell play can be dodged by something like a puck. That's true. Miracle, caught uh, again. That same spot, he just died. Is anyone? Where's this IO? Oh, okay. GH is close enough. Oh, I say that. Oh. The heals are starting. All right, Miracle gonna pop the BKB. Now Nisha also still trying to put the damage, but he's dropping very low here. Nisha stunned up. He's gonna go down. That's a full minute of no morphling. As Zai's escaping to the west here, they're chasing him. He's gonna go for the TP after. Again, that uh, catch we know isn't necessarily there right now from Nigma. But I mean, they do have a bunch of heroes that can get up close, right? You have multiple blink daggers on your team, and you have Pango as well that really likes that tag. So it, it, it could work well, but it really is putting him further and further away from. Oh, mid lane, Zai. There it goes. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. The invincible wrecking ball coming through. So get the partner first. Now moving on to Miracle. BKBs, though, has that satanic as well. So he's chomping right through them. And the secondary carry of yeah. Matu will go down. Nisha safely able to escape to the bottom lane as he wants to keep that push up. Uh, I, just, uh, I, I, I don't think that Agonyms was worth it, by the way. Using that Axe to kill off a Wisp, and then you still go into a fight versus a Morph. Did they see? Uh, they had. They must have had see, seen the satanic, right? Yeah, I think so, but I mean, you still have to kill the IO, right? Zai? They probably thought it was going to be more than just the IO they get with that, but um, Zai just getting chained up and silenced. No way to deal with that. Well, that play is great if you see Gyro is alone afterwards and you can take him down and he doesn't have a BKB, but uh, has a Satanic completed. He could even BKB TP out, he'd be fine. You can't really uh, stop him any longer. Yeah, especially with the Agonyms, too. We... So ridiculous. Yeah, we have still trying to get something here on Denisha. They're gonna force the buyback onto Zai, and now the question is, who's gonna get left behind here, or will Secret uh, force the actual turn here from Nigma for the fight? There's the first Fisher. Just gonna be Kuro gets e bladed and silenced down. Now, I'm not sure what happened there because Zai did buyback. I, I want to see Nisha standing next to him. That sounds terrifying. He must hit for like five or six hundred. Yeah, that's that's going to be the real deal. Rush gone. Yeah, no real contest there from Secret. Gotta be wary about the uh, the big Eclipse. Remember, it does remove the single target beam count as well. That's another nice part of the Agonyms. So they can all drop on one hero. We'll see if they bring in the Wrecking Ball once again with Zai. They start with the E-Blade. Oh, that's, that that's what they need. That that first blow up with just like one use, right? They still have Eclipse after Aegis. Oh, Too many creeps around them right now, though. But there's the Flat Cannon from Nisha. Clears them out right away. Not able to get aggressive, though. Yeah, Saw that, that the rocket was coming. Now that was good that they didn't go. Good for secret that is because they didn't have E-Blade, right? That's also so so funny. If someone just plays, starts playing those, they'll see how important it is for all of us to go for that tier three. But it's just a remnant of the past. It's not. It's yeah. not really something that's as uh, important anymore. Right, we're gonna catch Crow on the D ward here. Lots of allies nearby, but it's not a great way to start the fight. My control is still holding his ground though. And I'm not sure if Secret know what they want to do here. Weehaw comes from the left. He's got Gyro on the right. He's going to meet up with his teammates on the high ground. And Puppy's going to scout it out with another orb. And they're chasing Shh. after you, my friend. 
Yep, sir, with the Shadow Blade, he's still around. Oh, he's caught. Oh, but he sees him. The combo on the high ground, the BKB comes out, and Yaps are going to be wasted in this one. And that means time to retreat. There's a jump up top from Weeha. Misha still has BKB. So panic button is necessary. He goes to the TP, and again, he just knows there's no way to stop him. Man, he's done a great job of saving this BKB. It's still 10 seconds. I have a feeling he could have just waveformed as well, right? But... Uh... The TP also works really greatly because you, you, you're in the fountain, you're regioning up, and then you too. can fight. Uh huh, yep. We're gonna be pretty sneaky here as Puppy's gonna hop into the back line, gets the silence up on the Weehaw. He knows there's no BKB, the orbital candle is coming through, it's locking on the GH, he's down. Still big heals available here for the gyro himself, but they've gotten themselves mind control too. They need the chase down. Nisha is in his gyro form looking for the rocket, and he gets it on the Weeha. So that's gonna fall into the ends of the earth here. Root holding back Nisha, but following forward, it's Puppy. Already popped the coil. Zai going for it. Has the roll still. Miracle's trying to get away in the tree line. And Weeha uses the creep camp <laughs> to dodge the rocket, but that is still going to slow him down so they can catch up. And that was, uh, that was everything used, too. They popped the cheese and everything, but still got through. What about the orb and the spell prism on Matu's Luna? Oh, damn. Right, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's like the, so... uh, the Boston Major stuff, right? Maybe yeah. Ag's Refresher. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is some old school relocate. It's, right. They're Where's... coming back. Oh, okay. The Silver Edge was on CD right now. He gets the morph into the gyro, though. So the flat cannon is ready if they decide to commit to this. Waveform's in. Nisha, double waveform again. Pops the BKB to dodge the missile. Very nicely played as he hops on the MC. He's going to start backing away. Gets glimmered there, too. Now Zai hops in. Dream Coil dropped as well. Weeha has the BKB still going. Should be all right. Right back. Now they're moving on to Miracle. He's the big hero here. He's got the BKB. Still has the Satanic ready, too. So Nisha has to be careful. Dropping low on resources here. Still has another waveform left in the tank. Yapsor jumps through with the Echo Slam. Can they actually finish off Miracle with the Orbital Cannon coming through as well? Nisha jumps in, but the Satanic is activating. Nisha, he's also morphing strike, though, and the relocate out. They're going to save themselves and ditch MC. Puppy here for the easy chase down after. The phase boots are there to actually stop the body block. However, there's lots of catch still available. Oh, just a warning shot with the swashbuckles. As they then finish off mind control and another I, I, fight for secret. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's Miracle's it. got the, <laughs> the rapier coming. We kind of know that's uh, yeah. the territory they're in at the moment. I, I, frankly, they just haven't had a lot of item progression, really, on the Radiant. I mean, it, they've been getting things like the, the, the BKBs and stuff. But uh, yeah, here goes the uh, the ultimate again. And GH, he's just stunned. The mini stuns are too much. Now Kuro going to fall as well. Miracle just has a TP out of here. They're looking for the damage. They know they don't have it. So they just go after MC instead. He's got the phase boots. Going to go on the other side. And Nisha even go for the uh, the morph well, once again there. But he, he did queue up BKB instantly after on the Wisp. So that might help out a little bit. Uh, but he's pretty far away from it, and he doesn't have a buyback. The rapier is completed. Yeah. So maybe with the rapier they'll be able to fight, let's see. They used the disarm pretty early though, at Halberd. Nisha hops in, has the flat cannon going, and sends him into him. But again, it's the backside. Everyone's kind of leaning back here on the side of Enigma, not committing. I think this is fair, right? Radiant I mean, you had the protection too, but... You don't Just, have the uh, risk, Wait so. for IO. Actually, that doesn't affect the LT itself, so never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's so much better. Yeah, the, I, ex uh, I expected it on Puppy as well. You know, on Puck, it would be so good to have. It, it just it gives you a different dimension to your team fights. That's what it's all about. But no, I, Shaker I is in. The problem is that the only hero that matters is Gyro, and he can just stand still anyway. So that might be why. But and either way, Nietzsche, he is the Morphling. He yeah. is the Shaker. And there goes Weeha with his fresh egg. Was the so Shaker. Awful. Yeah. Was the, <laughs> the Earth Spirit, uh, Ember Spirit. He's going back in. Yeah, it's not like Aegis is going to be reclaimed way too soon. He has a Satanic as well, oh, the Morphling. Oh, it's a DD. I mean, and that the seems DD. pretty good. What? Uh, plus, plus a thousand damage without Luna being near him. Let, let's right. see what happens. Zai, just, just blink in, would you? <laughs> just, just give it to us. Oh, oh, no, they're just sending them right in. All right, on the mind control. Actually gets the, the BKB and the Glimmer, so good save there. And she's going to be targeted down by the missile, so... Yeah, I'll hop his way back inside the base. Plus 2,000 damage right now. <laughs> That's the question. All right, on to Miracle. Does not get himself the disarm. So Miracle still holds the BKB. Need some more lucky shots here from Zai. Take care of the rocket. Let's see. Totem. Oh, 
all this. Thinking about it, there's the Morphin. Still has that DD going. They hop on a Miracle, but he's sending out the Flak and he's getting tons of HP back. Nisha dropping low and regening as well at the same time. And now Nisha has fallen. So that is the Aegis. Can the team get back here in time? There's a Soulbind. There's another ulti ready here from Matu. He's back inside the base. It's Nisha fighting up. He's been abandoned by his team, but he jumps forward, takes down GH. They've Zarp. also lost Weeha on the back line. Poppy heading towards the fountain too. And yeah, it looks like Nigma are in full retreat mode here. Get the double kill, finishes off MC. And Miracle, there, he's kind of just being ignored at this point. Miracle really wants to fight, but he cannot. Even with this rapier, he's not dying, but he's not attacking. He's not killing anyone if he doesn't have this BKB. Oh, they're smoking. They're sending in the mangoes. He's stuffing them down his gullet to get the full mana back here. Uh, unfortunately, he's lost all of his buildings. So 45 seconds if he wants to think about saving for his allies. And I don't think Seeker want to play those games. I think himself the double Fisher. Poppy just zoning back here. Still has a dig on, fresh and ready to go as Miracle. Has Satanic, BKB, and Rapier back in four seconds. Soulbind there too. They don't want to play any risky games here. So they back off a little bit. Miracle runs in to the big hellscape of damage. Matu pops the cheese. No ulti yeah, for quite a while. Him. He's just hitting the throw. He doesn't care. Echo Slam to help make sure. <laughs> and Team Secret, they just duck, dodge, they weave all around. And despite having a, a fair edge for a little bit of that game, Nigma just, they couldn't close the game out. Secret were way too elusive and found themselves the, uh, the Roches for the win. This draft, I, I would favor Nigma a little bit. I really like it. Uh, they're fast paced, they can get on top of Nisha, but Drow Ranger is pretty solid right now. Because I've seen Puppy cancel that several times and just go back to the wave after that exact thing happens. Yeah, uses the salve, goes back and kills a courier, you know, and then you're like, yeah. okay, god damn it. Yeah, I hate this guy, like pretty much. Kuro down bottom, they missed the Aether. I mean, oh, oh, what? He, what happened there? All right, I'd be mad too. What? What? It didn't I hate look. that angle on the stairs. Yeah, it didn't really look like it's gonna connect. That was unfortunate for Kuro. Yeah, I guess Poppy just got a little bit too greedy. I mean, that is one problem with the support weaver rate. It is 12 seconds level one on the Shikuchi, mm -hmm. so you can't mm -hmm. be too aggressive. Yeah, yeah. It, still weird that he manages to die to an Ursa, but good play by <laughs> manages Miracle. Manages to, I mean, you're not <laughs> wrong. You just sounds <laughs> so bad. Like, wow, that's impressive. You, you died to Ursa. <laughs> Poppy is the greatest player of his generation. I, I don't think anyone else could have done that. No ulti there. There's an invis rune up top there too that they're gonna have to take away because we have, oh, maybe the siphon will keep him up. I thought he was going down. They of course still have the thirst though, so he can't be Top too plane. complacent here. Oh, oh, top as well. All right, well, turn around there. Oh, he's so fast because the, the DP's so low. Yeah, you. Oh, why didn't you just die, Weeha? Are they're they that big that. brain? Yeah, I, I think they're not that big brain, but Bloodseeker is happy still. Matt, who is, he just got down the soul bottom. kill. They have the Sonic Wave here. They're going in on MC. This is a big one to try and drop, but they also have the backstab from Yapsor. And they won't even, okay, they will. <laughs> I thought they were going to try to save it for a second, but uh, she, she's willing to go for it. If there's really any threat to Miracle here, probably not. I mean, he's still holding the point as well. Maybe hoping for a kill opportunity instead, right? Bottom lane, though, mind control. He just TP'd in. Yeah, that's where they're going to bring the rupture to. And do they give him a little wave? Oh, Did no. you see that sick combo with the rupture? Wow. He pulled him like... That's so much know, damage. 80 units or something. <laughs> just wait for the big combo of Rupture into Gust. That's what it's all okay, about. Okay, now, now you're just getting me excited. Uh, Shackle there. Slow down Nisha. Crow, not that scary with the DD rune. Tries to get some help from GH. It's both supports versus the Drow. She holds her ground. She gets the kill. GH still on one armor, but he's still doing what he can here versus Nisha and he easily takes him down. Halberd is good, right? You, you're playing versus Bloodseeker, Drow Ranger, and Weaver, but the problem is, usually when you're buying that Halberd, you're eliminating one big problem. Here he has yeah. multiple ones, so it won't really help him. They're doing their best to get this outpost here, despite all the harassment from Secret. And uh, Weeha will just go and give him a little pokes. Yeah, I'm sort of still feeling bold here, as the multi-shot comes through as well. Mind Control, Sonic Wave, he's gonna fall. GH is able to get out, he just kind of stops there and uh, he does not get out for long. It's about to just chase him down, grabs a courier at the same time. He is thirsty for blood. Mm -hmm. Look at mm -hmm. a, a double kill and we'll count it as a 2.5 as he takes Weehaw's courier with him. It is a weird one, right? We don't see it a is lot a weird of draws. One. Yeah, we it's don't like, see a lot of these. Yeah. It feels like you need a BKB, but then there's an Ursa. That, that's yeah. kind of scary. You just want to be able to kite some four staffs, fight perhaps. 
Puppy. <laughs> Puppy <laughs> just got <laughs> completely exterminated. It's like, oh, I can sneak this rune. There's just four heroes all sitting right here waiting for you. They instantly smoke yeah. after they run to the left in a circle is drawn by Kuro yeah. saying, here we strike. They Someone did smoke be before. For this this wave. is the second one. Matu. And there's the blink. Easy catch. There is a follow up silence here. I'm gonna throw it out with the power shot there too. Everything together for the kill. And uh, well, why don't we just keep on moving towards that Roche pit perhaps? And because yeah. they put up that sentry on the top lane, he now moves oh. to the bottom and is doing the same thing. Speaking of important hero, Matsu's there in the mid, but he's just running to the side. Mind control's gonna try and blink over. I don't think the creep wave saw him. So they're, they're gonna find him with the, the Yules into the stun. The wind range is too far away though. So the additional damage will just be the power shot. No shackle. It is enough though between the siphon and the last right click. So, bit close. But they do get him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, true. Of course, the, they might just commit for the uh, the tower pressure. That you know, they might overcommit now though, trying to you know, make up for that. Although they're not going for the tower, they're going straight in towards the bounty. He's looking to secure the area, and they're going to catch the real niche this time. No trees though. Oh, he actually gets it. I thought the power shot was going to kill it. But the Sonic Wave comes through, trying to help defend. Nisha backing, puts the guff down, but Miracle hops on in. Easy hit. Now the Yule's up as well. On the side, they get the root. And he's down. Nicely done. Crow chasing for more, looking to line him up with the double. There's a courier just standing still. Crow says, thank you. Uh, but the Morphling was a bit uh, more worrisome heading into mm -hmm. the later parts, whereas we're, we're not quite as confident, I don't think, in the, the Drow Ranger here. Trying a bit too much to stop the split pushes that you actually forget about going for it for your own objectives. Papi. Uh, and the follow-up silence. Waits to the very last moment. Six. Yeah, still good. Yeah. He had about 20 sticks there, 17, but just not enough. Not enough HP on him. There's the smoke. Ah, the old fake back once again. And they scan as well. Uh, essence ring there as well. GH just in case. Co-op is oh, called. Found himself Zai, yeah. Caught, silenced. No greaves. This game has the spirit vessel and the necros. And burnt down. Weeha yep. takes the final blow. Yeah, I, I like the vessel build, but maybe if he went for that Yules a little bit earlier or even greaves. He yeah, would I be think able vessel to, you know... and necros pretty greedy. Yep, yep. I think you can only stop off for one of them. They get Nisha. the blink stun as well. Kuro doesn't have an angle. He was busy on the courier. And they have the Yules, though, set up. And there's no defense here. Mantis already used. I say that. They got the, the silence for a second to stop it. But they will eventually get him. Now the blood right through, though. Yapsor jumping forward. Wants to find the kill on the Kuro, but the sun rays there. Trying to help up. Save him. Puppy now here as well. Kuro, they can't quite bring him down. Oh, Puppy. He's caught. Right. Oh, at the same time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Get him on the side, eh? Nicely done by Miracle. Uh, they got Yapsor too, so he's stunned up. Burn beginning. Actually gets caught mid-dive by the Aether. Yapsor, though, does not have another jump ready, so he's going to fall too. That was such a nice and play from, from, from Miracle. He waited in the back exactly where Weaver was about to time lapse. If you get the Maelstrom on Bloodseeker, it allows you to farm up faster. It, it, you actually have a lot of late game potential. But if you don't get that BKB early enough, you still die so fast. Yeah, I feel like this is the build I always see from him, is the, the Mjolnir rate of the BKB. And, yep. uh, they're going to try and smoke. They're going to try and catch them, maybe, but they still have big ulties. I mean, DK4 is still going for right now. Now jumping in, though. Silence on the Miracle. They're posting him first. They have the big damage. Oh, and that Aegis, it's got to be running low. It's got 20 seconds left, so still enough time for this fight. Weehawk goes forward, though, with the Exorcism. Now the Sonic Wave in the back. Gets Kuro and the Aegis knocked down. Kuro dropping low from the Spirit Vessel. In combination with the Sonic Wave, now caught in the blood, right? He's going to fall. No real hope for him. Miracle just hopping back. Zai and Puppy at the forefront here, trying to keep this chase going. Yapsor jumping through. Has another Yule Scepter here. The Three seconds. Range of Weeha. He has the yeah. step. Got GH too, though. I mean, Puppy's basically giving the vision. The net's there, but he's going to go for the time lapse to back himself out. It's always difficult to split push versus heroes with invis because you don't know. They might be there, and then another one with the TP. Suddenly, you're just finding yourself surrounded. Look, look at Miracle. <laughs> he's just waiting. He's just running into three heroes right now. He is completely alone. Well, that like, could be not a even problem. Close. Let's see. <laughs> that was the yeah. boldest play. All <laughs> right. Like, no, I don't think they're all around me right now. Well, the dust pops out. Now they're going to find MC. Will they chase through? We are. And he is running straight at them right now. The toss up as well on Desai. Gonna get stunned up. Looking for the final kill. But the Mjolnir is also rocking away on Mati. They want to bring down GH before he can pop the egg. They will succeed. 
We are retreating again with the BKB. Puppy with the chase down. They need additional catch here. Curl the shackle. Nice shackle. Hands on the two. And the power shot through onto Puppy. Able to just get him down in time. But they are moving on to Weehaw now. The big kills are coming out in the favor of Team Secret. They jump forward as well. Kuro running. Matu chasing down. He knows the MC is going to be locked up. He wants the additional bonus kill onto Kuro. And Damn, he's going to get wipe. it with the blood right damage. That is five heroes. Ooh. Okay. Uh, on for Nigga. I thought they couldn't do anything, guys. <laughs> What's happening? All right. So they did win a fight without without a Miracle. Let's see if they and can they do the same. they didn't either. Yeah. That, that is the big thing, though, is that that was up uh, after that fight. Um, Secret didn't, like, run right to the pit or anything. I'm not sure if they just didn't know or what, but Roche was available. Nisha, mind control. He's scouting him. He's got Pike and Manta. Oh, the, the miscommunication. The Yule's up on the stun. And the Sonic Wave defensively just trying to push them back at this point. The shot misses, but the Sun Ray will be enough. Need a little uh, bit of sunscreen there as Puppy comes back for the bounty rune. They want there's to a DD. Chase. There's a DD on Matu. Oh, and perfect. It, it looks like Nigma always gets a lot out of a single pickoff. While Secret, they just team wiped them and didn't manage to take a single objective afterwards. Yeah. No. She was completed on, on Phoenix. By the way, GH has a full Shivas and the Ghost Scepter. So How many eggs has he gotten off this game? Am I crazy? Not, no, no, no. He definitely didn't manage to... Did he Did he even cast one? I he don't know. <laughs> I, I'm sure he has, but I can't recall. And again, it's Miracle way up front again. But they have the Lotus Orb this time covering him. Concerned of the Silence. And now he's going to move right onto Matu, too. Looking for the big damage. Can't quite get in time to get the kill onto GH. So he drops the egg, but it gets scrambled. And now they're going to lose the Aegis right in front of the racks. He still has the... Uh, no, he does not have the cheese, actually. I thought he was holding both. Miracle pops up, but the Silence misses. Dagger to help control. Silence is a little bit early. The Blood Rite's going to hit after. And Zai jumps forward. Miracle caught in the middle, taking a ton of damage from Nisha. But there, now he gets the big regen of the cheese up instead. Nisha now being focused down. Ulti there too, but there's the time lapse. Big save from Puppy. Silence again. Multi shot coming through, but he doesn't have the damage. Weehaw's just running right on top of him. Matu looking for the right clicks, trying to get the final damage. But the Yule's up in the air. That's going to help save him. But a, se a second Yule's on a Miracle. He's also tossed up. Now Weehaw going to drop this time. And now they have the chase down with the thirst. Damn. Miracle also to fall. Oh, mind control, the last one standing. The only one with the bounty upon his head will survive. It's not a huge loss, though. Another nice shackle, shackle off a creep. Yeah, keep uh, Nisha in place. They're going for the range. Nothing too huge here. Still no buyback from the Ursa. TP in from the DP. They're trying to hold some in place. They want something to punish here. No mana Nazi for TP. EKB. Yeah, no, I was going to say, he could just TP here. So we'll go for it. Now they might be running into them here. Uh... They still have the Shadow Blade as well as the smoke uh, duration left. Remnant? Oh, there it connects. is. The Aether. Yeah, the booby trap. Do they want to fight here? MC's going to blink. He goes down. He actually misses on the silence, though. Now he's going to Aether Remnant up there. Spear Vessel 2. MC dropping very fast, but now Miracle hops in. They're looking for that big damage. They can't quite bring him down. Now Matu. EKB now onto Miracle, too. He's in the middle of everything. G is going to drop the egg, but it's away from Miracle. Not really covering him. The Blood Right catch him a silence as well. Miracle forced back, and Matu coming in with the big speed. Side does not have the Sonic Wave here, so they take a while to finish off Kuro. Eventually, we'll bring him down. So that's MC and Kuro to Matu, fall. bash. Yeah, he's still going in there. He wants Miracle to silence there, too. Another bash. He's turning to fight, though. The Bear regenerating back up, but now he's daggered. He's so slow. He's hopping and skipping away. He needs to find some honey in the trees to survive. Oh, but the fight. He can't get Zai in time. Zai going to Yules up and survive on the tree line. And Weehawk can just chuck out a couple Crypt Swarms here. He sees if he can catch anyone on the way out, but they are good. And but Puppy is doing so much work. Not only the yeah, Agonist, but the Telescope as well. He and he's got the plus four attack now, too, on the Swarm. Yep. So yep. The, the damage is going to add up. And I just can't help but look at just like the Miracle's progression just dying. Wait, I saw an item. He... There's a Quickening Charm there. He's going to oh. scout it. They got a stun on Anisha, too, though. He is a DD right now, though, so it's a bit dangerous. They got to keep this chain stun going, or he definitely has the turnaround potential. MC, low to stop here, but yeah, there's the big shots. GH comes through trying to help save, and now it's Weehaw with the BKB moving on Nisha, trying to get the TP off. He gets Yule stuff just in time, but the Shackle is also coming through in case. Silence as well, they missed the power shot. Still Puppy. on Nisha, should eventually fall, and now there's an egg. Zai trying to help take it down with Puppy. Should be fine. Yeah, Ooh, just so barely. close. <laughs> Zai has a blink. There's a rupture now to Weehaw, too. And he has a TP, but I don't think that's going to end up saving, especially with a bash. So he will turn into bats and die up on the cliff. They'll lose Nisha, but with some heavy commitments there as it's another one fight for Secret. I think at least they were a minute ago on Nigma. Yeah, they still haven't even gotten their tier four or tier threes and the tier fours are now out. So.
Uh, Roche, what is the time? Eh, that's a medium length. A minute and a half here. Oh, Mudsoul. Crow, not going to get Shackle. Instantly bashed up and ruptured, but now Miracle going to come trying to cover him, but it's two heroes. MC's coming through. Don't be the feed train, though. Don't try and save your buddies. Maybe it'll be enough, though. The apps are going to get saved by Puppy. He's got the saving. <laughs> I really think as well that Miracle, not going for that basher, is, has hurt them quite a lot, but Miracle dying on that raid inside of the map alone. Like you said, no item progression yeah. afterwards. Uh, at least he has the BKB now, though, so... Uh, we have forced to pop his again with that Yule set up. Very simple from the Void Sphere, but it's quite helpful. Now, another Yule's up in the air. They're going to put down the Sunray. Help protect Miracle as he comes down. Matu, look at the turn. Kill this egg in time with the help of Zai. Zai throws up the Sonic Wave, but they still get the egg. Miracle just wandering around in the middle of this fight. BKB trying to find something to hit, but he can't latch on to anybody. He's just running in circles. Uh, he wants to get on to, to the Bloodseeker, and he's good. Zai helps cover with the dagger and retreats to the west. But they did get Nisha down south, it looks like, with the help of the Exorcism. And running over the tree lines, Mind Control is trying to help find an additional kill. Mm. He will find yep. Yapsor here, but he can really just steal the... Oh, wait, here goes Miracle. He's coming. Hurry up, Bear. Come on. Come on. Try to push him back with the hammer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Should be fine. One more to use, and yeah, doesn't have any mana. There's a blink. Oh, but wait, there's more. A shackle maybe with the power shot too. They don't even need it. Got him. No stuns with that. Man, he's really making good use of this havoc hammer. Mm, that's 80 seconds without him, and Rosh actually has respawn, so uh, his eggs yeah. aren't really that great. Though he's been losing quite a few of them. You know, but... to be fair, oh, wait, oh. did he actually did nah, that curry? No, curry didn't. didn't, he didn't. Uh, you know, eggs actually on the phoenix might have been nice too, though, because that egg is so hard to break when they have the agonims. That's gonna be too hard to fight in. Can they fight them there though? I don't think they yeah. can. Like it's the window is just way too small to actually get there in time versus the extra. But yeah, that's a lot to give up. For the All right, who gets what here? He's not trying to even hit the tower. He's just tanking the creeps and farming them instead. And every time you do this, like GH and Kuro are showing, oh, miracle. you're in danger. Yeah, you're in danger on the other side. Zai. Zai just blinks at all that double silence, though. That's going to help him out there. Now an additional silence from the help of Yapsor, but he gets instantly abyssaled and blown down. Mind control, low, but he's going to back away with his BKB, and they've also popped the BKB and the Exorcism, so... Phoenix can give his one as well to V again, if, if he wants to. So, they didn't really get too much there. If I'm secret, I'm holding out for the uh, Tier 5s, I think. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's a pretty good call. Zai. Where's that Scythe and Abyssal? So, something's gonna pop that Lincolns and down he goes. Silence just in case. Yeah, they were just waiting for one of these moves. That's it. If you're split pushing and if you're not Weaver, you can be caught. I mean, it's when someone gets picked off like this that it just shows how fragile the strategy is from Secret and how it's so impressive how they're able to do it so well. Mm -hmm. Right? Because, like, you know, you lose the Void Spear, and now suddenly the, the Queen of Pain's in a spot where she doesn't want to be. And now Puppy's also being run down because they're not under as much pressure from the side lanes with two heroes missing from the push. His movement speed, though. He's going to stun himself. Yeah. But the Scythe, oh, is that actually going to work? No. Oh, no. Yules. Right. And now the Shackle. Let's see. <laughs> the Flicker. Wait, what? He, he's going to have Lotus again now. He's going to Flicker again. Yeah. So close. <laughs> They have the fortification, right? Do they? Yeah. They do, they don't use it. Mm, did it oh man, those those hurt. And the miracle there, he's gonna symbol dance his way away. Best taunt, by the way. That the whole reason why they're unable to push high ground is because they can't blow a target up with Puppy being nearby. That's what this weaver does to you. It's Alright, but what if he just eggs three times in the fountain? Puppy. And then they just take your buildings. <laughs> All right, Poppy <laughs> moves in. Uh, BKB forced it onto Weeha. He's going to pop the ulti too as well. Lincoln's popped there onto Zai. He's just trading with Weeha, but none of them are dying back on the western part of the fight here. Make that the eastern western part. We have a Sunray. We have it going through the egg. It's happening right now. The heals. They focus on Dematu. Stun up there as well. Miracle looking to finally get the blows, the stun. And they've got no buyback. brought down. Everyone no else buyback. is he, yeah. on the run. He just bought that satan Satanic. He's 300 gold Ooh. short. It's so good as well when you see a position 5 captain getting a gem. You instantly just scouts everything around the base. Yeah, because you know all yeah. those ward spots, right? Like. <laughs> There's right. a travel now, so they're, they're thinking chasing. about the eventual win condition here, I think, is Zai. We'll get popped and stunned up. Now the boots of travel too coming in. They're going to jump right on top of him, trying to get the final damage on the side, but the BKB as well as the Blink, he's out. Now the return damage on the Kuro. He's going to retreat, though. The Hurricane back back and a lot of attacks on America. Well, not that much damage. The Sonic wave from the low ground from Zai will finish off Kuro. There's no buyback there. And the rest of Nigma starting to retreat. There's a gem. He's still up front. 
He has the egg. He wants to use it. Zion goes in again. Silent stuff. Looking for the save. There it is from Puppy. That means Nisha might be vulnerable, though. Miracle trying to give the rundown. That's the hero that matters the most. Matu's there with the Lotus Mind Control. Still trying to control up, but he's BKB, but so is Nisha. And he's gone way too deep without his friends. They're doing gonna it. They're lose MC. They're jumping forward. They're going to catch GH as well. And uh, Weehaw trying to find the damage with the help of Miracle. The egg pops out. Miracle stunned up, but Lotus saving <laughs> and saving up with the Satanic 2. They're going to lose with Tumble Man. That's 100 seconds without him. He still doesn't have the buyback. Not able to find it, and Aether catches Miracles. He chases after Yapsor, so he's back to the high ground. He goes all oh, the yeah. way on the other side, and the he's only so one... so far yeah. away with this blink, like... Blink oh, and... Oh, whoa. GH? GH? Man, they, they are so close to him! But I guess he's at the lamp, right? He's basically baiting mm -hmm. them. Oh, he has Refresher as well, him. right? And Ooh, speaking of baiting, my control. He's on the hunt for Nisha here. Nisha's doing the dance. He can sense it. The Spidey senses are tingling. The TB3 in the dust as well. They can't find him. The, the, oh. pieces, the spider legs, they're chasing with the BKB. You're yes, completely Manta, alone, bike. Nisha. Oh, wait, the Hurricane Pike over the high ground. You've got to be oh, careful. No, the Abyssal in time. Oh, the angles, they're there, and they will drop him. I seriously thought he'd get out of there for a second. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're going to start chipping away. They really want to save this buyback unless they commit some sort of a terrible fight here from Nigma. Zai is just gone. He's just farming the top lane right now, so no real commitment from them. The exorcism is going to be popped here as well. They want a second lane. He's farming the items, right? He got the force boots. That's something that he Oh, got. yeah, you're right. That's exactly what he's doing. Did they, did they get anything else? To... Miracle. Yeah, so pretty safe here. They got Puppy. That's a really long stun, but they can't actually convert off it now. Taunted again on the Miracle. The fear screams them away, but instantly Miracle with the stats resistance. He's back up. He hops on top of Mob. Oh, people silence. And, and still, no, buyback. He can't get it. Now they're on the Yapsor. Double Yules up into the air as they try and tangle with Puppy. And now they force the buyback onto Yapsor. Kuro, the only one objectively based, hitting the, the structures. Now Miracle's going to help him out. And they now have the refresher there from Weeha. So additional sights, exorcism to BKB is back up and available. Zai pops in, looking for the Sonic Wave. He gets stunned up. Miracle still trying to convert onto him. The Sonic Wave comes through, but Miracle is still fine. He backs away. Weeha in very deep right now. So those abilities back up. Thanks to the refresher. Miracle in the back line taking a lot of damage. But he's also going to retreat back with the ulti. Now they're on the run. Dropping a little bit low here. Zai trying to find the catch. Doesn't have the Yules. Trying to throw out some spirit vessels. He's going to get Yules up in the air by Weeha. And Krill just chucks the power shot. And everyone's just looking to put in the old standoff here. As they head back towards the river with just Matu dropping, can someone get this man a buyback? We're back at the Roche Pit, and we get to play the fun old game of who wants an Aghanims. I see that my control's got a slot open. He's eyeing that thing up. Yeah, it's oh, the yeah. Phoenix. It's the Phoenix that gets the shard again. GH really wants to have a lot of these eggs. All right, but... Puppy, you're an animal. I, he was basically so just willing to risk the game. I guess he could buyback, but still. Well, uh, the Rapier's there. Now for Nisha. Ahoy, I'm the captain now. Yeah, sadly, you can't use the cape and then switch it, you know, and still keep the no, illusion, that, but... That was ruined by the four zoomers. You know, that was a bit they, too they strong. The oh, the damage. Yeah, miracle. Drop a little there after using the Fallen Sky. But he put the hammer on Wait, the, uh, the building. Actually, Zai has a rapier as well. Oh yeah, he was queuing that up for a while too. So we got double rapiers going here. Zai looks for the right-click damage. Taunt there on the mind control. He's dropping low. Less than half HP. He's ruptured up. He can't move. They need additional damage. On the Miracle too. They can't quite pop the Aegis in time. Now they actually do get it. And mind control stuck. He's dead. There's two minutes. <laughs> He's got no buyback. Not even close. Now Zai up on the high ground, giving some vision. Will the teammates come and help him though? He has the Yules up, the Fallen Sky misses. Now Yapsor trying to control up GH. Remember, he's got lots that of damage in the basket. Yeah, they got Kuro. They're chunking right through them. Matu also trying to get the kill there. And the Sunray as well. There's not gonna be enough right clicks to take him. We'll go back to the northern part of the fight. It's Miracle trying to focus down onto Nisha. Nisha though, doing the same thing in return. There's just way too many heroes around. Another egg. Silence is trying to help Nisha with the Manta now too. Matu trying to take on the egg, but it's not gonna be time to get the uh, way too Another many egg. required. And and there we go. They're going to try with another egg. They're all dropping low, but it's still not going to be enough. Oh, uh, looks like we actually lost one of the rapiers as uh, Nisha died, but uh, five heroes dead. I mean, they were right to not give him the agonims because they're still getting the full value out of it. Mm -hmm. And every time he uses the egg, Matsu and another, tar another hero, they try to go for it. They try to take it out, and then they realize just how many hits they need. And they back out. And even uh, that is... Uh -huh. He's gonna be careful there. Playing, messing around with that silence, or the, the fear rather, from Zai can be very dangerous. He just hops in, speaking of which, onto GH. He knows he's low, but the Sonic Wave actually misses. Not sure if it would have been enough damage anyway. And uh, they get out. Biscuit from yeah. Zai, though, when you have that rapier. Curl, he's trying to get the chase down. He knows they need a big catch here. That was like MLG Columbus, like Chen clicks shenanigans, right? Like the blinking yeah. high ground instant recall stuff. 
Oh, that was. Uh, well, we're remember the, the next storm plays here, guys. <laughs> oh, Top they actually lane? get the stun on the puppy, but to chain it, of course, versus the uh, the Aeon is very difficult. Both teams converging here. Another stun. Can puppy actually die? He does have the buyback, mm -hmm. but he drops the gem. Okay, you know what? Actually, they tried multiple times with Aegis. Maybe, maybe it's the time to try without it, right? So let's go. Let's I mean, see. Crow they... just went ahead and bought his own. He was so tired of it, so. They, they don't need Magnums or anything from there. And here we go. Put everything on top of the bear. Send him to the high ground and get the right clicks going. He's looking at that false guy. Sonic Wave just right from the start, as well as a rupture there. They lost MC way too early in the previous fight. There's the buyback from Puppy. Damn, rupture. That's the back. Yeah, yeah we are. Oh, feared. Oh, but the exit. He's locked inside. Nicely done there from GH. Puppy. And that's going to keep Weeha up. The Abyssal Ford. They got to get themselves that Weaver. Miracle going to jump on back. No commitment here. But don't force anything. Oh my god, GH. What a time to get the Agnum's Blessing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Unless you're time. playing versus something like a Void, you know, and he uses that Chrono or a Legion Commander yeah. and you're really saving, then, it's, then it can work. But in this game, definitely not. That was sick. Uh, Agnum's? Does anyone need I don't even it? want the cheese. You take the cheese. Yeah, okay, so that Prophet has Ags, Phoenix has Ags, Dragonite has it, everyone has it on the side of uh, Enigma. Really? Full, just fully Agsed up, are we? Wow. That's pretty incredible. Wait. And they jump forward, they get a fear, and that pushes them the wrong way. We all walks right into him, and he's gone. Dragonite's MC, sleeping he's gonna in. gonna glyph the wave so he can TP Wait, in, what? but he's on... What? What are you doing? There goes the Aegis, he's trying to force this fight into buyback from Weeha. A silence instantly onto Miracle. He has the BKB, he's gonna Abyssal forward. I, I think he's just tired of this. He goes on to Nisha, but he's gonna some space. He's trying to get away. They can't get the bash, he's saved up there from the invis. Now, trying to turn with the damage, but it's mind control. Again, on Nisha, trying to get the sun so he can stop opening this damage with the BKB as well from Nisha. Egg is dead. The egg is there, they're actually getting the damage. They got it in time, but Nisha stunned up Miracle onto Puppy, the big saving hero. He's gonna get back, he's gonna haste through. He's sneaky, he wants to get around the back line. Doesn't have to save right now, available for Nisha as he's dropping low, and he's gonna survive in time again. The Invis once more, the damage on the curl. They got the kill. Up, and now him. another time lapse there. Miracle's gone. That's a right. for Sonic. They're gonna get my control. Oh my god, why did you fight them here? What An ultra kill for Zai. I think they and were just the... tired. Mind I, control, I, man. He just I jumps in. Were, I think they were they're, they're just done. They're just done with this game. 75 minutes in, we get Scott, he dies, but mind control. He didn't have to, but he still does it. He pops the dragon form, jumps into five of them, and dies just the same. He bought back, but finally over. Is it done? A buyback from Miracle. He's got big damage. Maybe there's a saving grace here. MC trying to find the backline, but again, it's the fear. And now it's the Abyssal as well. On to Miracle, but he's going to pop out. He's got a Lotus on as well. But Michael just drops so fast with Sonic Wave combined in time. Now Zai moving forward. They have the Rupture too. On to Miracle. He's forced back to the fountain. He jumps back in. He's trying to get Nisha, but again, it's Puppy, the captain, with the big saves. And holy moly. What the. <laughs> They, they legit just got tired. They were just done. I, I feel like they just wanted that game to be over one way or the other. It's, it's, it just looks like you can't win versus Secret. That's the... I They looked so mentally broken to make that move. All right, what do we need from Nigma to not lose a third game in a row here? We need, uh, I mean, the Viper's Lane should go well. That's a check. I think the Underlord needs, like, some decent farm to start, right? He yep, can't just yep. be a big, like, punching bag for this Ursa. Yeah, he calls mid, and he can move down bottom, right? Yeah. Or, yeah, that should be the play. Yeah, and, and then uh, if there's a reversal, then... Actually, we, bottom lane. Oh, this would be a bad turn of events for him. I just wanted to come to lane. Oh, oh that's a problem. This is okay. such a problem because now he has to TP, right? And once yeah, he TPs, he's stuck. It. Yeah. Throws down the avalanche, though. He'll be okay, but that's a lot of damage and mana wasted for uh, a team that has quite a bit of renewables here with the help of the Coddle. As Crow's also chasing after Zai with a potential nightmare, but Yapsor is coming through, too. Now Weeha. Nether Toxin drop down. The break's there, but easy damage. On to Kuro. So he falls, and Zai's just going to TP out the ultimate answer to the Viper player. Yep, sword. Sadly walks away. Uh, five damage. He's dead. Yep. Yep. Did cool have guys those don't look at kills. Yeah, this did have those tranquils, didn't really work. But yeah. Uh, mid lane mind control. Yeah, he walked out here, but Kuro's coming, so should be okay. Yeah, he might even fall here, though. There's seven st fury swipes on mind control. Yeah, he, he doesn't dare. Yeah, he's scared. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's good. I guess that's one extra st stack of Fury Swipes on him, but uh, not enough. Nothing you can really do. And the Absor moves down bottom with Zai. He's got the point for the Hand of God. Isn't it taking it yet, though? 
see if they can get Kuro. Gonna hop forward there, but now they're just going right onto Zai. He just can't step too close, even with his whole army there. Gonna try and turn with the Penitents onto Weeha. They're gonna toss. easy right-click damage to finish off with a toss. Another TP in. This time it's Miracle. Moves on to his brother in the Void Spirit. Yep, yeah, so we're trying to get the distance there with the damage reduction, but there is more remnants to come. Miracle hops over and moves right over to Nisha, but... Yeah, four stuff. Hey, it was eight also four stuff pretty much. Will be, that's, that yeah. would be the most game-changing. Well, up top this time again. Now, last time Zai got punished pretty hard for this, but he's got backup this time. So lots of heroes here. No coil left, actually. He's probably burns his mana, but they're not going to need it. They'll throw out the ulti, too. They didn't really summon anyone as well, so it was just the three of them. It's like the way that he tries to play. Like it feels like the mm -hmm. longer you keep mm -hmm. your tier ones, the better, right? Yeah, he can't creep skip you constantly, right? It is strong. Miracle? Uh, although, he, he does just go to the tier 3 sometimes, so who knows. Uh, Matsu runs into the wrong neighborhood, as there's three heroes over here. He has to pop the ulti for the damage reduction and the sass resistance. Not very good versus the Fiend's grip, though, but it's already ended, so... Uh, and he's dead. It's good that they committed the grip there, but uh, yeah. then again, you're thinking Zai. He's level 8, he still doesn't have Hand of God. Maybe that's so, going to help. So, right there is what happens with the Slight versus the Chen. Uh, will Miracle get out is the question? No, he's dead. So it goes two ways. On the one hand, you could be invulnerable for a long time. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, they had so much time to, to actually close in on where he slided from. Oh, because Centaur stops. Nice toss on the Centaur. Gonna catch Weeha, the eighth remnant back. Got the damage for the Chenkus coming through. The sleep from Crow trying to help out. Crow has a big wander now. He's trying to tank some damage so he can go over the ulti. And now it's MC coming through. Uh, it's a toss. Another toss. <laughs> Sending in Kuro onto Puppy. Puppy's just trying to kill a courier. He's just doing his own thing here. Sends an aura back. We'll jump to it, but he walks right in to his death as Kuro takes the brain sap for the kill. Now another two-man root out there. Nisha in here with Zai. The toss out. I'll save you, he says. And there's another Centaur stomp here. Trying to come back through, and it's Matu. The stomp can help maybe secure a kill, but no, can't get in time. Kuro going to feed his body in, trying to get the final kill in his eye. Can't get it now. Nisha in trouble, too. Toss back once more. How many tosses does this guy have? Unfortunately, it's not enough to save his life. Matu. Miracle. Yeah, he's trying to hunt Matu. He's not going to find him. So they head back over to the west. And Yapsor is there. Actually, not as far deep as I think. Actually. Thought. Yeah, now Matu's back in here. Miracle gets some help, though. More shockers. Oh, but the eighth of top. Maybe it's enough damage in time. No, quite. It is there. They will get the kill. So a little bit too aggressive here from Niggas. They're going to lose two more heroes. Yeah, uh, that suffering. was, that was uh, so unfortunate for them. Yeah, they, it, it looked like they might find Ursa there and uh, make him die twice in a row. Oh, GH. No. Oh, yeah, they... he's trying to hold another this tower. This is a risky blast because you know he's going to come for you. <laughs> Look at that cobalt. Look at that cobalt just scouting him out. Uh, make it easy peasy there, so... Uh, well, Miracle's still running at them. Mind control's here, too. It looks like they kind of want to fight this. Matu driven back. They don't have the Viper, which I feel like would be the, the big hero to try and bring into this engagement, but uh, it is enough to send Seeker packing back over to the dire side. Yeah, I, I guess we has decided a little bit to chill and just get some of his farm because... Well, that's a lot of damage on the Zyvo. Right. And Matu hops in again. He's been so aggro this game, but it's worked out for him so far. He's now 7-2-2 two, two as he moves on to Mind Control 2, gets the damage, and there's even more on the Miracle. They're all dead! Again, it seems they're just coming back out Viper. towards Secret. And maybe this will be the turn that they need. Nisha having a, a bit of a rough one, this one, it feels like. Having a hard time getting involved besides those big tosses, so he's going to fall. But Matu, he wants a little bit more onto the Viper. The oh, silence no. is there, and Yapsor with the double kill. Yeah. I was just saying how we is trying to maybe chill a little bit and find some farm, you know, dodge these fights, because he has a Viper. At least if you're an Ember, you can, you're mobile. You can move across the map. You can still fight and get some farm, even if it goes poorly for you. As a Viper, if you lose a couple of these early game engagements, the game just feels so bad and you can see he moved away from the force he went for the dragon lance but oh, it's well, really not helping they will get a kill back though as mm -hmm. the miracle just finds Zai in the jungle and uh, is trying to get another catch on the Yapsor too there are additional heroes here they also have a dream coil too oh, you know Matu's thirsty he wants another kill he hops in right on top and he's leashed he is in trouble and it's gone for the Ember Spirit they are just trying a little too hard right now yeah it really looks like they don't want another 70-minute game. Smoke up with the BKB, <laughs> with the Echo Saber instantly into the pit. They want this Aegis and... Miracle's got a haste rune and a pretty good angle here. I'm not sure if they know he's here. All right, well, now they definitely do. They, they ping him up on the high ground. Miracle coming through. Meanwhile, down on the river. Got the Will-O-Wisp going. Crow trying to play inside of it, but the Aegis has been claimed. No sneak in this Roche. 
Mm-hmm. Another coil under Miracle. I think you just want to disengage here if you're secret and reset. Take a fight when you actually have the coil and not versus a hasted ember. As they sit upon the high ground. Now there's the root two. The Jenkins are trying to do it. Oh, he gets some low, but there's a little bit of a heal there for Miracle. Try to keep Can him alive. Kill him? Matu gets in and he's gonna get out. Alright, now back over though on the curl. They might not have killed Miracle. Miracle. They're just gonna wind up getting him anyway. Why does he go back in? I don't know. He had uh, the I don't remnant see what on the, the side. Like what were they hoping to achieve? It is a rough spot here um, for Enigma. They need like a big Will of Wisp play with everyone kind of on the same page. Yeah. The thing is, all of these big ultis of theirs and big AoE spells don't work that well. Mind control? Yeah, he's just trying to walk up his own high ground. What, what are you guys doing here? Why well, is a support duo? Except not really a support duo because it's a, a core chain, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, mind control, he managed to survive, so... Looks like their little gank plan didn't work out too well, but oh, Yurs is here too. He's popping the BKB. This guy still has an Aegis. I don't know if you want any part of this, but they'll get one kill, and finally they can take a fight on their own. They canceled. Here, trying to get the retreat. They're still holding that high ground though. Yeah, they're, they're gonna try and run back into this one. There's a coil snapped already onto Miracle and a silence onto four, but they do get another kill. Nisha's down. Matu goes back in though. Still has that Aegis. Still feeling strong. Got a couple of stacks onto Miracle. Wants a fourth hit there, but he knows that if he chases, he's just gonna jump away. So he goes back for Kuro instead, grabs that kill. And now moving back, it's Miracle. How many stacks can he get? Oh, Miracle's in. He's out. Doesn't want to die. Unfortunately, they're gonna lose mind control though. And again, it's a fight that kind of looks like maybe they had something doesn't really go their way. Oh, they'll get the Aegis. Zai still nearby. That's... Oh my god, that's like the perfect positioning for you if you're Nigma. That's the perfect position to fight in. This guy's got like the Meepo levels of experience right now. Holy... He just holy got moly, to, as he they just, say. Yeah, he just got so many of these pickoffs in the mid-game, and he wasn't dying. Ember Spirit died I mean, every how time. How many kills did he get, like, in here? It was just mm -hmm. a graveyard of, of Nigma heroes. Meanwhile, there's another... Coil in the mid lane. Miracle goes for the snap. They're going to blinding light them back. Puppy hops in with a silence, and the team is held back by the Will O' Wisp. But this is all Ember's being defensively. Someone take the Aether Remnant. Oh, Curl can't get there in time. And now he's just going to die too. Oh, they're oh, no. trying their best here, but even without Matu, they can just commit to these fights. They get great reach and range to catch these heroes, and they can chain stun them down after. He needs to waste a lot of time to kill any of those creeps. Repent. Puck has that dagger. Good We're a time. Bruin down here. Mm -hmm. On to my control. It's, it's a slow one. And uh, yeah, Puppy's just concerned with Weeha. He's like, all right, I'm going to hold on this guy. You guys try and finish off. The Underlord with the ulti, though. I think he's good. Oh, oh no. no. It was so close. We and now Weeha's been held in place. Now, Puppy sacrificed his life for this one. He's still worth less than we. Like, uh, Miracle yeah. gets 360 gold, we, they, and they got 280 for we, so uh, it's definitely worth there. it. Though. And uh, Yasser has this Yule, so Miracle has to be careful. He's going to move around to his ally instead and just go for GH, the one who empowers the Ember Spirit. GH moves yeah, back, though, and now they have the Fiend's Grip, but it's going to get canceled. The toss up there on the Kuro. Nisha still has the tree here, too, if he tries to get the high ground, and nah, he's going to blink on him. So I'm not tucking anything away here. I want my tree. And, uh, well, Matu just hangs out under a tier 3, because why not? He's just constantly sitting somewhere so far behind. Viper. It's like they, they know they need a fight here. They have the Viper Strike here. If they can hold someone in place, it's going to be Nisha. They are committing the Will-O-Wisp here. They say this has to be our chance. Hossback won't do anything, so... Uh, it's going to be a, a decent amount here for them, I reckon. Uh, they, they have a uh, illusion in the pit. Scan over that next Roche. It's still 40 seconds away, though. They have and, a halberd uh, as well. They gotta hope that the Greaves is enough to win this fight. And there it is, the coil onto the Ember, the Abyssal Blade too, and he... Oh, yeah, he dies pretty darn fast. Tried to get the save with the Nightmare. Oh, the toss back! The toss out, no one's getting saved here. Nicely done from Nisha. Oh, that leaves Weeha behind. Holy moly. Oh, they got the plays. Yeah, yeah, well, you, you hand that tip right over. Horrible oh, destruction as well in Ursa. Yeah, he's just having a blast. Cheese as well. Okay, you are playing versus Viper, Kotl, and Underlord, but if he keeps on being picked off on the top lane, Puck is following. Yeah, Puppy found him. Or did he? He did. He did. He did. Uh, huh? yeah, Puppy? Puppy? To... I think this is smart from MC to not just like panic TP. I think he actually has to try and drag this out. Yeah, he is He's buying. Trying a lot to create of time. a fight here. The team is coming. Maybe this is enough with the Will-O-Wisp in the tree line. 
Are they going to go for it? GH, he's holding. He's not going for it right away. Now he finally drops it in time for mind control, but he will eventually fall. Can they actually get the cleanup kills here? They so desperately need this. They get Puppy. He instantly buys back. Did oh, he have a Oh, no, he's seeking. He... Uh, now going for the Bane. You got him. Oh, no, they don't get the catch. Oh, they did? We. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Puppy hoping to catch someone else here, too. Doesn't have a Yules, though, and no coils. So I guess that, that's why Lots Puppy of... just bought back, too, I'm sure. Even if he couldn't get the orb buyback jaunt in or whatever. It's just like we, we've opened up high ground by getting these fights way up here. And they didn't, didn't even take down the ages. Matsu still has it for 40 more seconds. So he can even dive here if he wants to. Oh, well, diving, it seems to be the name of the game so far. Abyssal on a miracle. No assistance. The blinding lights already used. The Nightmare's going to try and help save him. See if they can get him out. Moves back, but no, he's going to fall. Has a buyback. He wants to try something, but Kuro's dead. Holy moly. Bane going to buy back, too. And they're, they're still holding for now. They're not going to give in quite yet. Just going to use the support buyback. Miracle really wants to hold on to his. He wants to be giving up. He's going to pop. Okay, he says, enough is enough. I got to try something. Matu, 10 seconds away from this Aegis. Perhaps they can find the perfect timing as uh, Kuro's been thrown all the way to the back line there. And so that's going to be a tie back on him. Bash onto Miracle. Abyssal back up in one second on Matu. If he wants to go for the turnaround play, he jumps back towards his team. Can I get a little bit of assistance here? There goes the Aegis. They've waited on the timing. They know the stacks are there. But oh, wait, ladies and gentlemen, let me have a little bit of cheese. As he hops in onto double kill for Matu. And my control attempts a TP out. He's going to fall down. The Uber's got a flat once more. And a triple kill for Matu. He's going to seal this one as Team Secret. The predictions were true. The script was right. It's all been told before. It is a 3-0 once again here for Team Secret. These guys are just, they're on a whole other level uh, on the current tournament scene.